So sometimes in marketing, you know, um, just being able to do a split test and to see what converts better than something else, or looking at Google Analytics to, to see kind of how long people stick on a page and where they go next, sometimes that's not enough information really to make all of the decisions you might want to make in your marketing. Um, and sometimes there's situations that are a little bit more complex, right? And so what I figured out, and in, in, <laughs> I don't know if this is as profound for you as it is for me, but uh, in, in marketing, just as in life, we tend to make a lot of assumptions. And quite a few of those assumptions can be unfounded, right? Like we just kind of assume because we assume. And um, that goes doubly so in it, when we're doing things that we think are supposed to work a certain way. Uh, and sometimes it, it really pays to take a closer look to see what activities people are actually doing, what they're actually doing when they get to your website. And so that's why I, I pulled up this little site. This is a tool I've been using here recently called Crazy Egg. And what it essentially does, just to make things super simple, is it lets you take screenshots of any page on any, any site you have so you can see exactly what people are doing, what they're clicking, what they're looking at. And this information, like to me, it, it, it's really interesting and insightful because sometimes you see things that you totally wouldn't expect and definitely didn't assume would happen. And so let me show you, uh, first off, I'll show you like an example of uh, one of these, one of these uh, situations so you can see what I mean. And uh, then I'll show you how to set this up if you want to use it in your marketing. Um, the more questions we can ask, the more we can see into what we're doing, the better markers we become. And the better markers we become, the more we get paid, right? The, the more results we can drive. And so that's what this is all about. So here's an example. Um, here's a version, well actually let's use this one. Here's a version of a landing page. So let's check it out. And uh, on this page, what I basically wanted to do was just kind of see um, where people were clicking and what they were looking at on this page. I was just kind of curious about it. So if we look in here, um, this, this right here just kind of shows a heat map of where people are clicking the most. So you can see here, here, and here, those are the most intense spots. So that's where people are clicking the most. Makes sense because they're big links that say click here. Um, and, but then we also see all these little spots, right? So that's pretty interesting. And so the scroll map, so that was the heat map. The scroll map here shows where our eyeballs go. This is awesome to be able to see because Let's say you're creating a website and you assume people are looking at something, but it's totally on a, a part of the site that they can't even see. And you're thinking that results are supposed to come and maybe your copy is awesome, but there's no results. Well, if you take a look and you use tools like this, you can say, oh man, well, they can't even see the most important part of this site. So maybe that's why. Uh, the results aren't as I thought they would be. So that, that's what this sort of a tool really lets you see, in, see, really let you see into. Um, what I like is more when we get into this stuff. This is the confetti view where you can see all the individual clicks, right? Boom, boom, boom. And um, over here, this is actually my favorite because what you can see in this view is you can see how many people clicked on any one region. So when I created this page, I definitely didn't think that people were gonna click on this image, right? Um, I definitely didn't think anyone would click here. I didn't think people would click here or here, but yet, there we go. We're seeing clicks in places we didn't expect. Also down here, I didn't expect to click there. And I definitely looked, there were 18 clicks on this bottom image, so whoa. You know, I, I made an assumption, it's an image, people don't click on images that just are images, but man, was I wrong. So that information alone lets me now better utilize strategically what's on this page. Maybe because people are gonna click on this anyway, I could use that to, for instance, drive traffic somewhere that's important for me because I know what their behavior is now, right? So hopefully you can see a little bit behind how powerful uh, using something like this is. And even here, 
right? Like how many people actually clicked on each of these links? You can see the middle link got clicked the most and the right link got clicked second most and this link got clicked the least. No way I would know that if not for installing this tool in any simplistic way. You can see some of this stuff in, in tools like Google Analytics, but not to this degree. And so this is what you're able to see with, um, with Crazy Egg. And I, I definitely suggest you, you give it a shot. It's fun and very uh, eye-opening, I guess is the best way to say it, um, to be able to see this info. So um, let me set one of these up and hopefully this will work right so you can see how simple this is. So let's add a new snapshot. So this is for a site I set up for a client. This is uh, their thank you page. Um, I'm just typing some stuff in here for notes, just so I remember. And nothing magical there. Um, down here in terms of the expiration time and when to end this, I don't think I need to get 25,000 clicks to any one page. 500 will give me a pretty much a pretty good view of what is going to happen over time. So that's what I'll typically do. I mean, maybe for this one, I'll set it at 1,000. Um, and that's really it. That's all I have to set up. Put in the domain name, type a few notes, how many visitors I want to visit this site this particular page before this snapshot is considered complete. Then I click save. And again, well, as, as I uh, assumed would happen, because I haven't installed the little tracking pixel on this page yet, well, now I gotta do it. So let me go here and grab it. And uh, let's see here. So this says, place this right before the closing body tag on the page. So you see why HTML stuff, like just knowing the basics, makes life so much easier, right? Because just being able to pull up this page and not having to have someone else do it for you just makes life easier. So let me go here and uh, let me pull up this site. Here's our page in question. We'll edit it real quick. We'll pop this code right here where it says it wants to be popped. Bada bing, bada boom. Click save. Close it out. I think we're probably pretty good. So let's check to see if my installation is good. So it looks like we're good. Really, that's all there is to it, right? So now we sit back and we wait for the results to come in and uh, we can see things that we wouldn't be able to see any other way. So uh, Crazy Egg's a, a cool tool I've been playing with. Give it a shot. Um, it costs a few bucks, but the cool thing is I think you can get a trial for at least 30 days for free before they ask you to pay. Um, if you do pay, maybe it's like 20 bucks a month or a little bit less than 20 bucks per month. So it's not a huge expense, right? And I, I'm not here to sell it to you. I'm just, I use it. Um, and uh, if you want to use it, that's the cost to using it over time. But you got some time to get it for free. So questions, comments, let me know. That's the magic there. And this is stuff that makes you a better marketer. So that's it. And I look forward to your feedback.